Hello, beautiful people. I'm here to talk to you about these two babies, the Thousand Helmet Heritage and Chapter. This is the first model that they had. This is the second model that they have. It's not an update. It's a different model that has very different things to consider. So you're wondering, between these two helmets, what should I get? Well, I'm gonna lay it all out on the table for you, and then you can gauge for yourself what would better suit you, and I will let you know which one I prefer more. Not that anyone asked, but I will still tell you. Not an easy choice, by the way. So let's go through what's the same and what's different between these two helmets. So I have the two black models. They're a little bit of a different black though. That's not really something that's like very, very highly visible. They're both matte. The finish on this though has more of a soft touch than this. This has more of a plasticky feel. This looks more like a traditional bike helmet. You have a replaceable visor. Here you don't have a replaceable visor. The visor is extra at 17 USD. And in terms of price, you're looking at 89 USD to 135 USD. So that's a significant price difference. They both have safety certifications that I will assume are up to par and up to standard. However, the, the chapter helmet, the more expensive helmet, has an extra layer of security that the Heritage does not. And that is the MIPS, which is the Multi-Directional Impact Protection Safe Security. Oh, I almost had it. System, system. The multi-directional impact system. This adds a little extra layer of protection because it will absorb some rotational force and that will lessen the impact on your brain should you have a very intense fall. Now, in terms of ventilations that you'll notice, there's three vents up on the top here and then four in the back. I don't have a sweaty head, so in terms of sweatiness, it makes no difference to me. In my experience, this helmet does make a slight whistling noise at certain speeds when I'm on a road bike, which puts me at certain angles and stuff. I can't say that's the case for everybody. I think if you're using this as a skateboard helmet, that's not even something that will be an issue for you. This has eight big ventilations, no whistling noises at all on this one. Like I said, this looks more like a traditional bike helmet. Then in terms of the look, you have to look at every color. I'm just comparing the two black ones here because on the navy one, there was a slight white trim, but here, this is literally all black on black on black on black. Here on the black one, you have a white trim and then you have the little equestrian vegan straps. For the chapter helmet, if you look at the other colors, there's a little bit of contrast sometimes with the strap and the helmet. For the black though, this is all black on black. But even for the navy blue helmet, I still don't find it has as nice of a refined look as the Heritage helmet. They both have the Fidlock, so that's not something that's different. They both have a little uh, strap organizer, if you will. But this one, the straps are stitched on. It's a much simpler look, less customization, if you will, it's simpler helmet. This has a little buckle here to organize your straps and to maintain them. I don't play around with them, but I, I think for some people that might be useful. There's just a simple nylon strap. It's a little bit less visually interesting in my opinion. I have like padding on the inside. This one seems to have a little bit more padding though. Oh, they're both comfortable. Padding is not ever something that I ever notice being an issue on my helmets. Although there does appear to have a little bit more padding as you can tell here on the red one and the black here. They both have the dials in the back for a tighter fit. Although on the chapter helmet, it's a little bit smaller the lock. So for this one, you can actually move it up or down, which sometimes I move it up or down to get my lock to fit in well. And then on this one, it's pretty much fixed. You can't move it. It's pretty much stuck there. Looks a little bit different, feels a little bit different. This one feels a little bit more flimsy, a little bit lighter weight. It works though, but it just for some reason feels a bit less. Yeah. I don't have a word for it, but no, eh, you know? it's a little bit harder to grab. I mean, I have small hands, so it's not an issue, but it's like less thick and less, less easy to grab the dial than it is on this helmet. Both helmets have the magnetic fidlock that I love, 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 love so much. Ah, love that. They both still have the magnetic pop lock. I don't know if this is just my helmet or my heritage helmet. This, I always found it to be quite short and difficult to use. On this one, it's a lot longer and much easier to use but that could be maybe just on my helmet, the strings and stuff. It's a little bit cleaner looking from the bottom as well. When you see the foam here, it's covered up, but I mean, I don't really think anyone's looking under the helmet, you know? 
The logos are in slightly different locations, look different as well. The chapter helmet is slightly lighter, very slight. I can tell when I'm holding them. Ow. Actually, you know what? This is lighter, I can feel it. Oh my God, I hurt myself. Yeah, this is slightly lighter. Not enough for me to base my decision on that personally, not enough of a decision factor. On the Heritage Helmet on the website, you can actually personalize and add a monogram sticker, reflective sticker for about 10 to $15. So you can customize your helmet like that. And for this one, I didn't see that. And then they both come with a little protective case. This one is more of a linen beige type of uh, coffee bag, that kind of feel. This is a thinner velvet bag. Another main difference is that this comes with a light that is 40 to 50 lumens lit with a solid or a party mode. And when you put it on magnets, it will automatically turn on. It also does come with this that you can put on your bike on your seat post and then also have that light there. So you have like a two in one different options for visibility. This is so bright. That's good, you want it to be bright, but just not when you're indoors looking at it. Now I have like a permanent red bar in my eyesight. One other thing, the Heritage Helmet comes in a lot more colorways. There's 12 colors currently versus three colors. If that's something that makes a difference, but there are four different visors. So there's more combinations you can do with the chapter helmet. And also the, um, this is so fun to rub. The Heritage Helmet comes in 12 colors, but it wasn't always in 12 colors. I don't remember how many colors they launched with, but they kept adding over time. Well, I'm mentioning that because there's a possibility that they will eventually do that with this as well. So if that's something that's really important to you in terms of customization and color, well, keep an eye out. Maybe it will happen. So which one do I like more? Which one am I going to use more? What can I suggest to you? Well, right off the bat, if looks is important to you, that's a, that's a simple one. That's based on you. For me, I, I just, I like the look of this one so much more. I like the clean minimalist look, the little equestrian look, the contrast. This is the one that I'm gonna be probably picking up more often than not. And then this also matches the tan camel type of uh, color on the, the gloves and it matches the tan like color on my bike. So it just looks like a more unified look. When I'm biking, I wanna feel good. I don't know, that's just me, maybe, I don't know. I like, I like looking like cute on my bike. This one is for more protection, more features, a lighter one, more ventilation, or, and if you're not in a budget, if you're on a budget, you would probably consider this one more. They're both really, really great helmets. They're just different products. So it's not like this is version two of this. They're, they're different. So that makes your decision either easier or more difficult. I'm not really helping, am I? Well, hopefully I am. Please thumbs up if I'm helping. Don't thumbs down if I'm not helping. Just, just don't do it. So I hope that helped you. Like, comment, share. Let me know which one that you would get, which combinations you would get, and why. I'd love to hear from you. Let's get some conversations going and I'm gonna see you on the next video. 